Hey guys, my name is Jerson Nunes. I'm a BFA compositor uh, on Real Ended Artists. In the following video, I will show you how to support currently your camera from uh, the Foundry Nuke to Unreal Engine 5. In this case, I tracked this shot uh, with my camera tracking inside Nuke. Uh, by the way, I'm using Nuke Indie in this time, and I did a simple 3D tracking. I put some meshes over the building that uh, help me to understand correctly the, uh, the perspective and everything is tracked correctly. I will show you how to support the, using a node called Bright Geo. This node allows you to export any geometric inside Nuke. So in this case, I will use it just for cameras. So let's get started with the explanation. All right, I will use it uh, for this test. Uh, our video footage uh, from action the effects that I downloaded before. I did a simple track 3D tracking here. I put some meshes to to see if my tracking is working correctly and everything. And I have my camera ready. So first step you need to know is you have to uh, you have to set up all your project and you need to know how is the length of your footage and the project at your frame rate. So in this case, I'm working with 23.976 and 2K and my frame rate is from 1 to 48. All right. Once you get your camera, the next step that you need to, to do right now is bring your right geo. So I'm going to start from scratch again. You have to plug your right knee geo from, uh, to the scene because you will uh, export your camera and the scene have all the 3D elements connected. So you select it and you want to name it. You need to know, you have to name it correctly because when you imported the camera in a real engine, Probably you will get like uh, issues or problem with the name that you call it, you know? So you need to name it correctly. In that case, I'm going to put it the same, the same name like camera one. Save it. And you will see uh, a different option. Geometrics, camera, lights, axis, and point and clouds. So the only uh, selection that you need to put it here is just camera because you will just export your camera to uh to a real engine for the compatibility fbx 2020 that would be great and when you hit execute you have to make sure that your frame range is the same of your global so in that case we have to change it to global and to, to make sure that is the same one two forty eight and just hit okay all right when the export is ready you will get a fbx in this folder that you save it so we are ready to jump in in unreal all right we're in unreal engine 5 here i did a simple uh environment here uh, yeah, first thing first, you need to import first your camera into uh, into Unreal Engine because in that way you will be able to build up your environment correctly in the angle that you will desire. Okay, I have already my uh, sequence, level sequence created. I'm going to double click it and I'm going to set up my, uh, my FPS. So I'm working in 23.976. I'm going to create my camera. If you can see the camera is just a static camera. It doesn't have any animation on it. And I'm going to right click and import. You will see your camera here. So you will select it. You have to select it. You will get this dialog dialog box here with a lot of options uh, 
and you need just select convert a scene unit, import unit scale, create cameras and replace transfer track. If you select match back all name only, you will need to name it correctly both camera. If you don't do it, you will get like issues and your camera won't be able to import it inside your sequencer. You don't want to force from X axis, so just leave it like that. And the only thing you need here is convert, import uniform scene, scale, create cameras and replace travel track. You don't want to reduce keys too because you have to track the camera correctly inside here. And just hit import. You, you see, I have my 48 frames already inside my sequencer. So if you have any problem with your camera cuts like that that I have now, just uh, hit right click on your camera cut, edit section, and your camera binding, you have to select your current camera, right? And you have now you track the camera from new inside your reel. Okay, I'm going to hit in and out on my timeline here and my camera cuts too and you can see i have my 48 frames here so if you need to adjust or fix any setup or detail on the camera you can do it like this here you can adjust the the focus uh, you can see the the current information on the camera if you need to adjust, fix something, you can do it like here, in here. If you do an, a more animation, like uh, the, uh, the focus or depth of field, you can do the animation on this uh, detail here. But yeah, it's up to you if you want to do any adjustment on your camera here. And yeah, this is how you'll get your camera track it from new to inside Unreal. So that's the, in a few steps, you will get the camera. So it's that easy. It's not a big deal. Just you have to follow in all the correct steps and you will get everything correctly in your sequencer. So, but don't forget, import your camera before you start building up your environment because you will get uh, huge issues in terms about the angles, the orientation or your scene, import your camera and then start building up your environment. And yeah, that's it. Hit the like button, subscribe. If you have any question, if you have error or something, just write on the comment box. I hope you guys like the video and it will be helpful for you. And yeah, that's it. See you on the next one.